So this one's going to be kind of short. It's just another miracle or whatever. He wants us to tell people your testimonies, your miracles, because people want to hear, they want to know. But the point is he wants to be alive in your own life, you know. The miracles that he does for other people, um, he wants us to tell because he wants to show up in your own life, right? And um, he wants to know if we will listen and obey immediately, right? And um, everything that is good comes from him. He wants us to glorify him in every way possible. The knowledge, the wisdom, the success, all everything in life, it comes from him, you know? It's not, it's not from us right it's from him and he wants to show us miracle after miracle blessing after blessing um until the day that we die and get to live with him in heaven you know that's all i live for is to see heaven and i don't care about anything else i don't care about the worldly things i don't care about nothing i just want to make sure i get to heaven and you get to heaven and we live on earth as it is in heaven um until the time comes so one thing that he wanted me to do he wanted to make sure that i trust him um and listen right with all my heart all my life and like as you know my partner in bonfire she's having a baby it's my first godchild ever and i will love her to death i don't know i think godchild and godmother father stuff is like worldly stuff but i'm gonna take it seriously and i'll make sure this child loves jesus until the day she dies you know until the day I die whatever it is anyway so um, I wanted to make sure I'm there for the new year and God already told me that I needed to quit I didn't know what day I was gonna give him my resignation you know cuz he's saying um, do not depend on worldly security I had full pension regular full-time permanent full-time seniority union benefits and he knows like if you're starting to depend on that and um, he doesn't want us to depend on the worldly security. He wants us to depend on him, his security, his kingdom, right? Because he's in control of all things. So I'm still going to work. I'm still, like, going to work and um, make money for the food that I eat and stuff like that, whatever. But um, he just doesn't want us to depend on the worldly security. So he wanted me to buy the ticket before I even knew what day I was going to go to the Philippines. Because I'm going there to see my godchild and to do more missions like in the Philippines like I do every year um, but I didn't know when so once I buy this ticket I know I have to quit right so um, I didn't know when and I was like okay are you sure God and he was like I want you to buy the ticket right now I was like oh my goodness so I go online and I check online and I look up like the flight or whatever and it was exactly like the time that I was thinking um, for six hundred and fifty dollars okay and um, I was just like okay I didn't know if that's real I was like God if this is real and you really want me to go at this time and have me quit before this day um, I'm gonna close this you know like the flight centers or whatever they have a way of remembering what you're searching for so when you look for it again um, they actually raise the prices or it goes away or something right so i was like i'm gonna close it and if it's there um i am going to buy it right and so anyways i trust in him i closed it and i searched it again and it's like there again like cheaper right and so i literally but i'm gonna cover my email so you don't really know but um i bought the ticket like this day or whatever oh it's here like June um, 21st and I just gave him my resignation like August 19th or whatever so I knew I bought this ticket and I knew I had to quit before the day that I buy the ticket right I mean before the day that I have to leave literally okay this is my itinerary I don't know if you, I don't want to show you what my flights are and stuff because that's freaky I'm private you know but um so this is like oh I'm trying to cover okay so this is my air flight or whatever and um, this is the ticket oh here airfare airfare okay see it was three hundred and forty two dollars and fifty cents that's a round trip 
to the Philippines, okay? And I think that's like the price of like a cancellation if I can't make it or something like that. I don't know. So I bought it out of faith. And knowing that he has a purpose and a plan, he always does. He always, always does. And he wants to trust us because when he speaks something to your life, he has something bigger and better planned, right? And you gotta know that. You know, you hear it all the time from your pastors or your parents or the Bible and stuff like that. You need to really, really, really believe it and walk by faith and hear his voice. You need to hear his voice in your heart, you know? And um, he will show you miracles like that. Like, that's a miracle. Obviously, if it was free or something, that's like a real, real big miracle. People are thinking like big, right? But things like that, next to impossible, like 300 and like 40 something dollars, you know? Like a round trip to the Philippines. Like, it's just crazy. Like, I can't take it anymore. I don't know what else he has planned. So um, I know he wanted me to just get used to the camera. I'm pretty used to it now. Now I won't stop talking or whatever before I like didn't even record at all. Never took pictures or anything. But he wants me to get used to it so that I can record like even when I get to the Philippines and stuff. Like all the years that I ever went, I have never recorded. But this time I will. So until then, until I go, um, I'll keep on telling you his miracles. The camera is now cutting out, so I will find another way to record. I'll be right back. Okay, bye.